A random ringing in your ears can be really annoying. Known as tinnitus, this maddening condition, which can be chronic or temporary, is a common complaint. But what causes ringing in the ears, exactly? An estimated 15% of Americans, that's more than 50 million people, contend with some form of tinnitus over the course of their life. 1. Hearing loss. Ironically, the loud ringing in your ears may signal your hard of hearing. Overall, most tinnitus is thought to be sensory neural, which means that it is due to hearing loss at the cochlea, part of the inner ear and the cochlear nerve. When the hair cells, specialized cells that transmit sensation into the inner ear, in the cochlea become damaged. As a result, the brain produces abnormal nerve signals to compensate for the missing input. These abnormal nerve signals translate into the tinnitus you hear ringing in your ears. Fix it, visit an audiologist, who can conduct a hearing test to determine if a hearing loss might be what causes ringing in your ears. For some people, wearing a hearing aid not only improves hearing but can also help reduce the awareness of the annoying ringing, according to the Cleveland Clinic. 2. Exposure to loud sounds. Ever wonder why your ears ring randomly after a concert? Here's why, exposure to loud sound can cause damage to the hair cells in your inner ear. These hair cells then leak random electrical impulses to your brain, which then cause tinnitus. People who work in a noisy environment, like a boisterous bar or a construction site, or those who frequently use deafeningly loud equipment, think, power tools. Lawn mowers and leaf blowers have a greater risk for hearing loss and subsequent development of tinnitus, according to the Cleveland Clinic. Fix it, to reduce the ringing, and harm to your hearing, wear hearing protection like foam earplugs or earmuff-style headsets when exposed to loud noise. 3. Earwax Earwax might be the reason for random ringing in your ear for a few seconds. If you produce an excessive amount of wax, or it doesn't wash away or fall out as it should, it may accumulate, block your ear canal and affect your hearing. However, anything that blocks normal hearing can bring somatic sounds, like ringing in the ears, to our attention. This can occur when earwax blocks the outer ear canal. Additionally, if you get a buildup of fluid in your middle ear, otitis media, you may also have blockage of normal hearing, which could result in tinnitus. Fix it, never try to dig out earwax with something like a Q-tip or paper clip, as, you may push the wax further into your ear canal and potentially cause damage to the lining of your ear canal or eardrum. If earwax gets impacted, you'll need to see an ENT for removal. Your primary care doctor may also be able to remove earwax. There are several ways to extract earwax, your doctor may use a small, curved instrument, called a curate, gentle suction, or water to flush it out, according to the Mayo Clinic. 4. Dental Issues Believe it or not, the ringing in your ears may relate to a problem in your jaw or teeth. For example, temporomandibular joint TMJ, disorders can cause clicking or popping sounds when you open your mouth. What's more, teeth grinding, jaw clenching, and muscle tension can also make tinnitus more noticeable. Fix it, if you suspect your ear ringing is related to dental or jaw issues, you should see a dentist or TMJ specialist help you manage the underlying issue. For some people, Wearing a night guard can provide relief from grinding and clenching and may even reduce the ringing in your ears. 5. Head Injuries The meaning of ringing in just your right or left ear could have to do with your noggin. Trauma to the head or neck can injure the inner ear, hearing nerves, or brain functions associated with hearing. These injuries may cause tinnitus in only one ear. In addition, ear ringing after a head injury may also be a side effect of a biomechanical problem of the head neck or jaw, according to the Cleveland Clinic. For example, tinnitus is a possible symptom of whiplash, which occurs when the neck bends forcibly forward and then backward, per the Mayo Clinic. Fix it, talk to your doctor if you're experiencing any strange symptoms like ear ringing after a head injury. And if you play high contact sports or work at a high risk location, such as a construction site, always wear head protection to help prevent a head injury.